Welcome to another Polkadot tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how and why it is important to update your Ledger apps. In here we are on the Polkadot.js user interface and we are currently connected to an RPC node on the Kusama network. We have a Ledger account and we will try to transfer funds from these accounts to another account here called Controller. Before starting, make sure you plug in your Ledger device that is switched on, you unlock it with your PIN code and that you are now on the Kusama app and uh, you can see on the screen Kusama ready. Before diving into today's tutorial, if you find these videos helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below as this will help other people to find our content. And if there is something that we didn't cover yet and that you are interested in, drop us a message. To begin the transfer, let's click on send, check that the sender is the ledger, the receiver is the controller, select the amount of KSM tokens you would like to send, then click make transfer, we will sign with the ledger nano and click sign and submit. The Polkadot browser extension will display some detailed information about this transfer and if everything looks okay, we can click sign on ledger and we can see here we have this message transaction version not supported. We are not able to make this transfer. This is because the version of the Kusama Ledger app is uh, not up to date with the transaction version of uh, the Polkadot.js user interface. How we know that? On the ledger we can go in the Kusama app and uh, find the version, we can see that this is version 13 and then here we can click cancel. We can go under the developer tab on the UI, RPC calls, we can select state, the state palette and then we can select get runtime version, click submit RPC call And we can see here we have uh, a summary of uh, the call and uh, we scroll down and we can see that the transaction version is 14. So we have a different version and now we need to update the Ledger Kusama app so that uh, we have the same version that we can see here. So now we can exit from the Kusama app on the, on the Ledger. We can open Ledger Live we can see that here we have this banner that is asking us to update the Ledger Live app. So before going and updated, updating the um, Kusama app, we need to update Ledger Live first. We click on download update. When the update is uh, downloaded, we can click on install now. The app will uh, automatically close and uh, relaunch. All right, we can see here the update has been successful. Here there are like a summary of uh, what's new. Let's click continue. After updating the Ledger Live app, we can go to My Ledger here. Allow Ledger Manager on your Ledger Nano. We can see here we have uh, one update available. We can uh, expand the details. And this is actually version 14, the one that we need. So we can click update all. And this will uh, trigger a progress bar on your Ledger Nano screen. After the update is finished, we can close Ledger Live. And now we can send the KSM that we were not able to send before. So go on send. Check that uh, the ledger account is uh, the sender, that uh, the controller account in this case is uh, the receiver. Specify the amount of KSM tokens. Then click on make transfer. Sign and submit. The browser extension will display some uh, details about uh, this transfer. If there is uh, this type of error here, it's just because you didn't enter the Kusama app on, uh, on Ledger. So go on the Ledger device, 
select the Kusama app until you see the Kusama ready on the screen. Then uh, click on uh, refresh on the extension. Click again, sign on Ledger. Go back to your Ledger Nano and uh, review the transaction. This is a balances transfer keep alive extrinsic. The destination is the controller account in this case. The amount of tokens are 0.01 KSN and uh, we approve the transaction. We successfully send 0.01 KSN from uh, the Ledger account to the controller. If you don't need the Ledger anymore, we can disconnect it. And that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you learned something about how to upgrade your Ledger apps and why it is important. And uh, I see you in another video.